It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I literally just dropped the video in the same shirt, or in the same day, about Lomachenko coming back because Top Rank had dropped that video about Lomachenko, you know, being back in the States, uh, and they were saying that there was some fight news that was imminent that was going to happen, and I didn't think... They were going to drop fight news so soon. I thought it was going to be a couple of days at least. But I just saw the tweet from Mike Coppinger. It is official. Um, and it's kind of a surprise. Uh, Lomachenko is coming back. He is fighting at 135. And um, y'all can set the date. He, he, um, well, actually, no, there, there is no date yet. There is no date yet. But uh, he's Lomachenko is back in L.A. in training camp. He's beginning training camp on, on Tuesday. And uh, he will be taking on none other than New England's very own, Massachusetts' very own, Jermaine Ortiz. Now, for those that aren't familiar with Jermaine Ortiz, Jermaine Ortiz is uh, a very, very good upcoming boxer. You know, um, had a chance. I've, been, I've been following Jermaine Ortiz for the last two years. I saw him fight on the um, Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. undercard when he won the WBC USMBC title against... Um, Suleiman Sagawa in a really, really exciting fight where he got a seventh round stoppage. Very good boxer. Um, very, very, you know, slick and, and, and very defensively sound. Doesn't have a lot of punching power, so I don't think that will uh, be a big uh, a problem for Lomachenko, punch power wise. The the only thing with him is, uh, you know, he fought when he fought Joseph Adorno last year on the Edgar Belanga Desmond Nicholson undercard. I was, at, I was at that fight. And Jermaine Ortiz got dropped twice in that fight, and, you know, and then since then he's beaten some good fighters. He beat Nahir Albright on Showbox, and then he and then uh, he he retired Jamel Herring and, and beat him pretty soundly to capture the uh, NEBA lightweight championship and the IBF USBA lightweight championship. So he's been picking up some good wins. And, and while he isn't necessarily a big name that hasn't that, that hasn't getting a lot of hype, um, you know he's someone that if you're really up in your boxing and you know, and you've been watching these undercards. You would know who Jermaine Ortiz is. So the, what a great opportunity for him to showcase his skills to the world. You know, I was I was really more of the mindset that, like, it, you know, Jermaine Ortiz should fight Jeremiah Nakatilia, who also beat Miguel Burchell. I thought that fight made a lot of sense. But, but, but man, this is, this is why they always say as a fighter, you know, you got to win the fights that are in front of you because you just don't know what opportunities lie, to, lie ahead of you. So it's a great chance for him to really stick his flag in the ground and show the world who he is against one of the most talented fighters in the sport, you know, in a future Hall of Famer in Vasily Lomachenko. But uh, for Vasily Lomachenko, they're going to use this fight if he can win it uh, and try to angle him for the uh, George Cambosis Jr. versus um, Devin Haney rematch, which is October 15th. So, uh, yeah, Jermaine Ortiz. Um, if we look at, like, Lomachenko's last couple of opponents, like, we look at Nakatani, if we look at you know, uh, T. from Lopez, if we look at um, Richard Comey, I would definitely say that if we're, if we're talking about in terms of pure technical boxing skills, I would actually say this is probably best opponent Lomachenko's fought in a while. I, I would say he's definitely better than his last two opponents. And then if we're talking about from just a straight technical standpoint, you know, I think it's actually debatable if he's a better technical fighter than T. from Lopez. I don't think he's a better overall fighter than T. from Lopez, but I'm talking about in terms of pure boxing skills, he may just be better than T. from Lopez because he's very good at making people miss. He's he's got a very good jab. He does he does a lot of things very very well. He he's not necessarily gonna ooh you and ah you with punching power or anything like that. But uh, you know, he's 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 really good defensively and and and. It'll be. It's not necessarily like a like a, like an easy comeback fight for Lomachenko. It's a fight to where like if you haven't been in the ring for a long time, Jermaine Ortiz can be very tricky for a fighter. So don't be surprised if, if Lomachenko maybe, maybe doesn't look his best when you factor in the ring rust and when you factor in that he's fighting a young uh, uh, fighter like this that 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 knows his way around the ring, that knows how to make you miss and and and, and make things difficult for fighters. You know. But overall, you know Lomachenko should be a favorite because. He's a much more experienced fighter than Jermaine Ortiz, but sometimes, you know, uh, styles make fights, and, and just because you're the more experienced and more talented fighter on paper doesn't mean you, you're going to win. You've got to actually go in there and, and, and actually 
show the world that uh, you are better than the fighter in front of you. So yeah, that's that's the news. I didn't I didn't think I would be making two Lomachenko videos in the span of uh, a couple of hours, but but it literally just came in as I was sitting here. Vasily Lomachenko, Jermaine Ortiz have agreed to a deal. Lomachenko is starting training camp uh, next Tuesday, according to Mike Coppinger in LA. So it should really really be a, a momentous occasion, and I'm looking very forward to seeing uh, how Lomachenko looks back. But I'm all but but. Also for me, because I, I follow boxing, I've been following Jermaine Ortiz. I'm very excited to see how Jermaine Ortiz uh, performs in the fight and, and, and seeing if, uh, not only if he could win, but more so how he performs to see if his stock could rise because this is a great opportunity. You know, this is a guy that doesn't get a lot of hype. This is a guy that doesn't get a lot of publicity. This is a guy that won a record recently on the Boxing Voice and said that he wants to be the first guy to beat Shakur Stevenson in the pros. So this is a person that has set some lofty goals and expectations for himself, and I wouldn't expect him being the proud powder he is to, to, to look at himself as someone who can't beat Lomachenko going into the fight. So I think it's a good fight. I'm looking forward to seeing the date, time, and venue when, when, that, when that gets ironed out. But yeah, Lomachenko is back. He has an opponent, and he comes in the form of Worcester, Massachusetts, very own Jermaine Ortiz. So y'all can make of that what you will. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take it, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.